Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of Little Snitch, so let's get started. So as it says in the title, this is a review and giveaway of Little Snitch, and uh, at the end of this review I'm going to be telling you how one of you can win a free copy of Little Snitch. I'll be doing that at the end of the review. So let's get started with the review. So first I'd like to thank uh, Object Development for providing me with a copy of Little Snitch. Uh, I really appreciate them doing that. Um, Little Snitch is an application that allows you to monitor your local uh, internet traffic and your wide area internet traffic, so your internet traffic uh, to and from the internet. And really um, how it does that is through a bunch of dialog boxes and rules. And I'm going to show you uh, what those rules look like. So what I've done here is I've opened the uh, Little Snitch uh, configuration utility and here are all the rules for um, all the applications that I have set up. Now when you first um, uh, install Little Snitch and you launch an application that needs to connect to the internet, uh, you will get a dialog box and I will show you what that dialog box looks like. So when I launch FaceTime, it comes up with this dialog box uh, asking me if I either want to allow or deny FaceTime to connect to configuration.apple.com on port 80. And then I have a couple options. I can allow it to do it once. So if the application needs to access the uh, that port again, it'll come up with this dialog box. I can do it until quit, meaning that um, it'll allow the application to continuously access that port until I quit the application, or forever, meaning once I allow it, then it'll never come up with this dialog box again. I can also deny it as well. Uh, with these options, once until or, uh, once until quit or for, forever. And again, I have these sub options. I can allow it to connect to any connection, so I don't have to worry about any other uh, dialog box coming up for any other port. Uh, only port 80, uh, only this specific configuration at apple.com, or that configuration and port 80. So there's a bunch of sub configurations as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say forever, and I'm going to allow it. And then once I've done that, I come down here and it's created this rule called FaceTime, uh, allow any connection. And I can come here and I can look at that rule. So it says allow any connection on FaceTime, any port, any server, and it's forever and it's, it's enabled. And I can click OK or I can make changes. And I could also delete this rule if I wanted to by coming up here and clicking delete. So for most of the applications that you're familiar with, when you first install Little Snitch and you launch the application, uh, you'll see that dialog box and you can simply click on Allow Forever and you don't have to worry about that dialog box uh, coming up again. Little Snitch also offers this uh, little floating status bar, which is really nice. It, uh, it allows you to monitor the uh, network activity uh, and get uh, more detailed information. You can uh, enlarge the monitor or make it really small and you can get some detailed information about a specific application for example let's go to mail it shows me what uh, mail has tried to connect to uh, I can go to Firefox it shows me what Firefox has tried to connect to and and I can list uh, the activity of specific services um, that uh, OS 10 uses to access the internet as well. So this little floating dialog box is really nice to have and you can configure it to be uh, as small as you want or as uh, large as you want. So why would you want to install Little Snitch? Well again Little Snitch is a great application for monitoring your local and uh, internet activity uh, for both applications and services that are on your computer. Uh, again, you can allow or deny those applications, and it's great for security because, again, it will pop up a dialog box uh, for every service or application that tries to access the Internet. And if you're unfamiliar with that application, you can always deny that application. Or you can get more information about that application and service by just Googling that information and finding out, is that an actual legitimate application? Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, the services and applications on and Mac that are trying to access the internet will be legitimate, but it's always nice to uh, have that option. And a little snitch is also great for blocking uh, network activity for specific applications that are trying to access the internet for, oh, let's say registration verification. 
And Little Snitch is a great educational tool as well because it really shows you what your applications are doing in the background. Uh, once you've configured them, you can monitor the activity. And if you launch a new application or an application that you've just downloaded from the internet, you can see what type of uh, network activity it's trying to access. So that was my uh, review of Little Snitch. If you guys have any questions about Little Snitch, uh, just leave a comment down below or go to the Objective Development website. There's a link in the description. There's uh, lots of information about Little Snitch on their website. And now I'm going to tell you how one of you can win a free copy of Little Snitch. Go to the Objective Development website. Again, the link is in the description. Come up here to the shop link and click on that. And there'll be a list of all the products that uh, Objective Development offers. The first person to leave a comment listing all of the products will win a copy of Little Snitch. Again, the first person who leaves a comment listing all the products that Objective Development offers will win the copy of Little Snitch. Give you a hint, Little Snitch is one of the products, so that should give you a good start. So again, go to Objective Development, go to the shop link, look at all the uh, applications that they offer for sale, leave that as a comment. The first person who does that will win a copy of Little Snitch. And I want to thank Objective Development for providing that copy to one of my viewers. I really appreciate them doing that. Again, everyone, uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate you supporting the channel by giving it a thumbs up. I appreciate everybody stopping by, and until next time, I will talk to you later.